Okay, right here I got a Nissan Murano CVT transmission. Uh, it is the 6P trans, uh, CVT. And let me get over here close to you. It is, what the name of this transmission? What do they call this thing? Uh, I mean, the, the name. <sighs> Some reason I can't see what the name is, but I just know it. Um, hmm, I thought I saw that name on there, but okay, the Nissan Murano. I, I'll put it up there. What it, what the name was? Oh, uh, JF010E. Or an RE05, or excuse me, RE0F9A. Okay, you can see it right here. Where is it? Right there. This is what it fits. Now, problem is there were some codes in here: pressure control codes, stepper motor codes. If I can find them, normally I put them in the vehicle. Um, also, the owners could barely get up here. Well problem was this flow control valve it's worn out but not only was it worn as you can see this is worn it was also stuck in there hard to get it out but it, we got it out and I've gone through this before so I've used this transco kit before which is uh, a JF010E dash FC okay now let's see here what you're going to have to do you don't want to just put it in okay because it, it's a lot of stuff in there what you want to do is get one of these this is a brush buddy I got this this is made by superior transmission parts it's something that does work put on a drill and you want to go inside there clean it out You want that valve to slide. You want everything to slide like it's supposed to. I don't know. Well, they have the sleeve there, so the sleeve won't have to slide, but the valve is going to slide inside of that sleeve that they have, but still clean it out. I have this size, and I'm going to go to a bigger size. Now I'm going to clean this out in the solvent. Okay, got it back. Now there's something you need to do. You need to measure something because you have this washer here and this washer is only to be used with the longer of the sleeve so here you got a sleeve that you will be reusing this is a sleeve that came out and you want to measure it now they have a type 1 and a type 2 sleeve if your sleeve is the type 2 you do not use this washer according to them if it is the type 1 you must use this washer the type 2 is shorter and the type 1 sleeve is longer don't know why you use the, the washer with the longer sleeve but haven't even tried to check that out right now so anyway type 1 when you when you measure this make sure that this don't fall in between the grooves because these got grooves in it in there put on a, a solid part so you don't get a false reading but put on there and this is showing, I'm at millimeters wrong, so let's change it. Inches, point, uh oh, point, I mean 1.048 inches. This is the shorter sleeve, so we don't need the washer. All right, the longer sleeve would read 0.125. Also, the valve, which is the short valve, would read 0.0. 
1.015 and it should read 1.02 okay so this is the short one the long sleeve would read 1.125 and the long valve longer valve or it would have a shorter valve excuse me would read 0.945 Okay, so here it says it on here. Okay. And you use this washer with this setup. You don't with this setup. We have this setup. Again, this has worked before. I've used this and it had a smooth engagement. It drove smoothly. There was no buzzing. But don't use that JFO11E one. That one there, I did a video. You can hear the noise. Others have had noise. You have to take the transmission back out. It just didn't work. And it may not work for you either. And you want to take the trans out. So that need to be told to them. Okay, now, we already cleaned this out. Right? So now let's see how to put the valve in. Okay? Now, this is a sleeve here. Okay? So you, this has a groove on it right there right there the groove portion faces you so therefore it's going to go in this way okay and this is the valve so we're going to put that in that way okay so remember this groove will face you you're going to go in like this get in there Thing is, I don't know what's going to happen once this gets stuck by it one day, but for the time being, let's get this in. Just don't want to go in. Easy, does it? Okay. Let me get this back out. Get something to get that out. It's not going in there because it's very tight. That's what's was stopping the valve. Okay, look like it went in there now. Let me see. There you go. Good thing that sleeve don't doesn't have to move. So put that in there. All right. That should be in there. to make sure this is all the way back can't be playing around here hmm. make sure that's all the way back huh. have to find something okay let's see here I'm gonna be messing up see that wasn't even all the way back in there. It deceive you, making you think it was. You gotta make sure. Now, now it's all the way down. It's all the way back. Alright. So let's see. All the way back would be what? Alright, let's let's see here. Zero this out. Let me. Okay, it would be one point four five nine. So I I stuck this debt gauge down there touch the side of that sleeve and I had uh, this portion of it right here not right here but right here so it's like that okay one one point four six it's down okay now next step is to put this valve in. Always put some type of lubrication in there. Now this valve 
here goes in like this just like that like that And that slid right in okay they have a new spring in here okay and you're going to reuse this sleeve so you can put that spring inside the want Get in there right now the sleeve where the notches are goes down into the pump that way not this way but this way Just like that and then you take this part and put it on And that is how you change the flow control valve in this Nissan.